Good morning, I am female Jarvis sir, you can call me Alexa too, please tell me how may I help you. Now, whatever these two this. Good morning, I'm female Jarvis sir, you can call me Alexa too, please tell me how may I help you. Tell me one joke Alexa. Net was named, net so that it wouldn't show up in a Unix directory listing, ha ha ha. <laughs> so what the time is it right now? The current time is 0 to 7 a.m. Oh Alexa, thank you a lot. Now you can stop. Hey, what's up? This is Nala Jaktar. It's not a machine voice, right? Yes, in this video, we're going to generate this kind of realistic voice and try to make our Jarvis look more realistic. So without wasting any time, let's go on the VS Code. So well, and you can see here, I create a folder that's called female Jarvis and also create here a Python file that's called app.py. So at first, we are going to create here our basic Jarvis that is based on our Windows machine boys, like machine types of boys, so that later on we can convert it in a realistic types of boys that you see earlier on the demo. So this is the file app.py. First, I'm going to import here some necessary library. So first, we are going to import here this kind of library, fixed library here. First library is nothing but call its speech recognition. Make sure you install this library using the speech. Okay. And we have the PyTT SX3, right? Which one having the machine types of boys, both male and the female, right? This is machine types of, right? Later on, we're going to convert this into the realistic types of boys that you see earlier in the demo. Then we have the file what kit. It will actually help me to play the music, right? And you can see the date time. It actually helps the Alexa to actually know the current date time. So that Alexa can give me the response, right? And we have the PyJox so that Alexa give me some kind of jokes. I mean, tell me some kind of jokes so that we actually imported the PyJox, okay? And you can see our import SYS. This is nothing but for backing the while loop so that we can exit from the programs. Then what we're gonna do here, we are going to initialize here one listener so that we can listen it, we can recognize it using our microphone. Then we are going to initialize here our engine. So we have the two bias ID, one is a zero and another one is a one. So one is nothing but for e female. This is machine types of bias, right? So you can see our engine equal to pytt63.init. First, we need to initialize this one and we need to get the property from the biases and after that we can actually set the property of the biases. So I am not doing the live coding here, just I am going to explaining all the lines, all the codes line by line so that it don't take much more amount of time, okay? Because you know, time is important. And then what are going to do here? We are going to define here a function that's called engine talk or you can say it's big, right? Because engine is talking here. So it will actually, actually uh, help me to create some kind of machines bias, right? Machines by that you see in the first demo, demo number one and the demo number two, right? Demo number two is nothing but realistic. This is not a realistic one. After that, you can convert that. Then you can see here engine dot talk and it will say and it will run in white. Simple. Then what are gonna do here? We are going to create here on function which will actually wish me high and the program will at first run. And it will actually show me the good morning or good afternoon or good evening. And it, it, you can see here it also talks that I'm a female Jarvis, sir. You can call me Alexa too and please tell me how may I help you this kind of biases that you actually hear in the first demo, right? Then this is just functions. You can also uh, make it some changes on that. So now we are going to define one of functions that's called take command. We will take the command using our microphone. So when you speak on the microphone, it will take the command via the microphone. Then what are going to do here? You define here a function that's called assert.recognizer, right? Assert.recognizer. So you can also define it here, I already define it, but uh, this time we define it the second time. Okay, we can remove it later on. Okay, no problem. Then we have the assert.microphone, right? Using the speech recognizer, we are going to recognize the voice that's coming from our microphone. Then you're listening it, we just bring here listening, actually comment. And after that, you're going to pause threshold here one and what are you are going to be using to uh, listen it so that you can listen it which are coming from the microphone. Then after that, you're going to recognize that this is English bias or Hindi or Bangla, whoever you can, right? Then we're going to recognize it and we are going to recognize it using our Google API and we pass here audio and language is nothing but English, Indian, right? English, Indian, right? But I'm from Bangladesh, but my English speaking stylist looks like Indian. So that's why I give here English, Indian, right? And you can say print here on just 10 many user set like that, like, okay? Then if there are any exception, it actually, let's say your internet is not connected, it will actually give me say that again, oh please, oh it's not actually recognized the voice correctly, let me, it will give me the exception, right? Then after that, what are gonna do here? We are going to return the query that is coming from the microphone. And after that, you're going to define your function that's called run Alexa. Then you're gonna take the command using this command method, just we call it the command method. 
and after that if the common is play if the common is play that's why i'm saying that play one music right play taylor swift music play are this thing music play darshan rebel music like that play sakira music play justin bieber music it will just playing these music you can see song it just come and replace the song play and play on the banger space and the common it will show it will go on the youtube and it will try to search this one so this music right we'll show it just wait then after that we are going to ask for time for the alexa and you can say date time dot date time dot now and it will just give me the history of time and it will actually talk like that then what i'm going to do here we can do initialize our jokes you can see our elif jokes is command just we're going to get the joke from the machines and after that you're going to stop it when you say stop laksa it will stop the whole program and after that you're going to say that if it's not hear it again i could not hear it here properly like that and then what i'm going to do here i'm just going to call the function that's called wish me and while true the run alexa so that it takes the input from the infinite time now if i am trying to save it and go on the terminal and terminal here and now if i see that just wait and i'm going to say that python uh let's call app.py well app.py so what it will do if i am try to run this file right you can see it wish me good morning i am female jarvis sir you can call me alexa too please tell me how may i help you hi alexa what time is it now the current time is 02 colon 22 am alexa play taylor swift music playing alexa taylor swift music stop alexa well and you see here it play the music so i just actually actually uh, mute this one because otherwise it give me some copyright issue so that's why so now the main part now now the main part is coming up that how can we actually convert this machine types of bias to one realistic types of bias so for that we're going to using here an api that's from the eleven labs from eleven labs now let's go on the browser mm -hmm. so well so this is the website that's called the eleven labs so just need to go on here and create an account so because using this one we are going to generate this kind of realistic bias and you can see some settings that's called a grace it's nothing but the name or you can say models and you can see sorry this is not model it's the name and you can see the models so this model that you're going to be using here and you can see here you can type here the uh, paste here the actual text here so i'm going to pass here some text so that it can actually uh, generate this bias so that we can test it out and you can also see that how can we use this api in our program just click on the generate and it will generate the biases for you and it will take few seconds to actually generate this kind of Python is a high-level general purpose programming language. Its design philosophy emphasizes code readability with the use of significant indentation. Python is dynamically typed and garbage collected. It supports multiple programming paradigms, including structured, object-oriented, and functional programming. Well, that's working fine here. You can also get here some biases that's called, you can bias here the email bias, and you can also get here the female bias too, right? So there are so many bias that are available. It's based on either which kind of bias that you're going to use here, right? So you can see a Jesse, and let's see, you can also hear it. Though. There's no failure except in no longer trying. Okay, this is the male bias. And you can see here so many bias. Let's say, if opportunity me. doesn't knock, build okay. a door. This is the English, so it is kind of, okay? So you can use any kind of biases here, okay? Never so, mistake motion for action. Okay, let's try to use the email one and try to generate the bias for her. Python is a high-level, general-purpose programming language. Its design philosophy emphasizes code readability with the use of significant indentation. Python is dynamically typed and garbage collected. It supports multiple programming paradigms, including structured, object-oriented, and functional programming. Well, so now the question is how can I use this API? So when you sign in this here, you can see here your Gmail icon, just click on here and you can see the profile. Okay, and inside this profile, you can see here your API keys and just need to copy this API keys. Now we're going to show that how can you use this API key in your program. Well, so right now I am in the VS Code. So now what I'm going to do here, we are going to just simply the using this API that's called 11 Labs, but make sure you install this library. So for that, you need to open a command prompt here and type here the pip install 11 Labs. 
because I am using the multiple version of Python, so my command should be like that Python m pip install 11 11 labs. So, this is the library, it will help you to uh, generate this kind of realistic bias without machine bias. So, you can see here requirement already satisfied. That's fine. So, now what we're going to do here, we are going to import it. So, first, what we're going to do here, we are going to import it from 11 labs. You need to import here the generate and you're going to import here the play. Then you need to import here the set API key so that we can actually set my API key here. So this is my API key and I just use this API key on here, right? So make sure you don't copy this out, <laughs> okay? So and after that, what I'm gonna do here, I'm just going to uh, create here on functions like engine talk. So this is the function for engine talk for which will take on query. And after that, it will actually generate this um, text based on the query. Then just pass here the query and the bias is not very great. So there are so many biases that are available inside the 11 labs. Just go on this 11 labs website and try to play with them. And you can see that we actually give it a model same. So this is nothing but a model same. And based on the model, it actually generates this kind of biases. Then we can simply comment out these lines, right? And then now what I can do, I am just simply going to run this file now. So well, now it's time to run the code here. So let's try to run the code. Just go on here, terminal, and try to run the code. Let's say python app.py. You can just play with them and give here so many commands on that. Good morning. I am female Jarvis, sir. You can call me Alexa too. Please tell me how may I help you. Tell me one joke, Alexa. Why are you always smiling? That's just my regular expression. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Stop now, Alexa. I could not hear you properly. Okay, okay, okay. Play music for Taylor Swift one. Playing Gok OK music for Taylor Swift one. It's music for the Taylor Swift one. That's really fine. Okay, that's great. So that's it for today now. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. And I'll get you can get this code in the video description of the GitHub link. So don't worry on that. Just subscribe to the channels. Thank you and bye bye.